Hi, this is Tom Latcham, and you're in tune to Broncos TV. We are now able to bring you some exciting and big news. This is Mike Eccles. He was the interim head coach of the London Broncos. Uh, we are now pleased to say he is now the director of rugby and performance at the London Broncos. It's official. That's his title. That's his job. And he's here to tell us uh, a little bit about it. But before we uh, do, and we talk about what that might look like in, uh, in real terms, congratulations. And uh, how do you feel to have finally got it sorted? Thanks, Tom. Yeah, it's been a, it's been a process. Um, I, you know, I took the interim job with every intention of, of uh, getting out there in four weeks and just dropping back to the performance role. Um, and then things went on and on. And, um, you know, then we went into deep discussion with the club about, you know, what, what do we think moving forward? And it's been a, there's been a lot of deep discussion, Tom, about um, me personally, the club, the applicants for the club, um and, and it, it essentially what you know what david and jason uh, in particular thought was the right step for the club really and yeah we came up with um what we thought was the best plan really um which would be myself as the director of rugby and performance so in essence um pretty much a similar role to what i'm doing now but just seeing overall aspects of rugby and performance so I, in terms of the infrastructure what that means is i i will lead the program i will be the you know the head of the club if you like underneath <clears throat> jason and, and david um but i will bring in two assistant coaches which we will announce in in due course um one of them is signed and one of them is close to signing um a performance analyst a new strength and conditioning coach uh, to replace myself and the retention of the, the outstanding medical team um, that have done a great job this year so that will be the coaching infrastructure which is um, a, he a heck of a lot thicker than what it is currently right now um, and that was important that was really important to me that I I understand where I'm strong Tom and I understand where I need to improve and it's important for me and most importantly the players that we provide them with the best infrastructure and the best coaching knowledge and staff to get the best out of them and i feel that um the the format that we've put in place will do that well so you or historically this club has had head coaches this is a, a slight shift in that being that you're a, a director of rugby and performance you've said what the setup will be like but in real terms what do you what what hopes or what ambitions do you have that it will do in terms of the running of the club the, the change setup well what it does is it just gives me the the flexibility to um uh kind of blanket oversee what's going on in in the entire operation really so making sure that um i want to make sure that the we, we maintain some fabric in the club at all times tom so I think my strength is that I've been at the club a long time and I've, I've worked with a lot of coaches and I've, I, I understand probably what the best route is for the club in terms of how they recruit, how they try to retain, uh, the type of rugby the, the team probably needs to play to get results. I understand the demographics of it, the limitations um, of, of London Rugby League. And what I want to do is I want to not only bring in um, coaches, but I also want to set the club up long term as well. So I want to ensure that we, the coaches that we bring in, have a very good understanding of the club, and hopefully go into, um, well, we, we retain their services at the club. And if and when I do move on at some point, we're in a very strong position to uh, implement someone who has the fabric of the club, or in my eyes, the, the, the right fabric of the club and understanding of the operation. Well, I know that um, you've been in the South for some time and you have no, you've got a family here and you've no desire to go back up North. And I know that when we've talked privately, you've said that actually historically, that's been a problem for the London Broncos a lot of the time is that people come down for a couple of years and then they go back again. And there's that no, there's no continuity. Do you think that that, that continuity or the, you know, the directorship is actually a really important step for a club that's in London. I think so, Tom, because um, a head coach at this club does have to wear 
probably a few more hats. Um, but I think with, with the role that I'm taking on as well, it will really help. I want to really get involved and send a clear message around recruitment and retention uh, and, and not just be on the, on the field coaching, not just be on the field spending every hour I've got there. Okay, that will be predominantly the role. Um, I'm going to bring in two assistant coaches to support that area as well. But I want to be very, very clear in what I think is really important for the club, which is retention of our players, retention of our staff. And almost make a bit of a stand and say that um, we are not just going to lose players easily in the future. We're going to do absolutely everything we can to retain those players. I want to speak to the parents of our younger players and tell them why this is the best uh, route for their players. Why? You know, make it um, objective, give them substance behind those comments. Uh, I want to let agents know, like I've done in the last month, we've had a, a lot of players so I'm trying to come to the club, a lot of players. And I'm just telling agents, no, the priority of this club to move forward is to retain the best players that we have got. That is absolute priority. Once that's done, we'll look at bringing external players in. But in my experience, Tom, the club is at its most successful when they've had a period of two or three years of building the team, building players that are settled in London, they understand London, they're not homesick anymore, they're over that first year, that second year, and rather than lose them, we must retain them. So things like that are, are top of my agenda, mate. Um, building a team, not just uh, having a, a, a huge turnover of players, which will, will lead us on to the retentions that we've got. We're not going to announce them right now, but we will be announcing them very soon. Super excited to announce that we have been successful in that, um, in speaking to the players and the agents. And um, they're so excited about what we can build and um, have retained most, if not all, players so far that uh, I've reached out to. So, fantastic. That's yeah, great. Well, time. I mean, you are a good example, aren't you, uh, of that uh, to saying to people, look, you know, you can build a life in the South. I've done it. And actually, it, uh, it's been fantastic for me. So I suppose you're a great advert for that. Um, long term, uh, finally, long term, what are your hopes and ambitions for both yourself in the role and for the club? Well, it's a, it's a tough question, that, because, you know, as in life, a lot of things evolve around resource and, and money. And no one really knows what's going to go on with the, the structure of the competitions. So that will be governed by that. We're very lucky. And, you know, David still puts in an incredible amount of money, uh, probably more, still more money than anybody else in the game, I'd, I'd probably as a guess, at. Um, however, <laughs> it's very expensive to run a team in London, uh, plus an academy, plus a reserve team, plus a scholarship and a women's team. You know, we, we have the full lot here, um, which, which is terrific. But to answer your question directly, a lot of it will depend on that. But things that I can control right now is is that irrelevant of what the IMG do we will have a team next year Tom that will you know we'll have a, a low turnover of, of players in key positions the spine of the team will be very much the same I want to make sure the team is very very well prepared I think that's one of my strengths in preparing a team ready for championship ready for February I want to make sure that uh, this team next year has got an, an unbelievable resolve and grit about it. I want to be a team that plays the game in the right way and that always puts the best foot forward in terms of performance. Winning and losing is, is a byproduct of, of your performance, but as long as we get the performance right um, and our intensity level, I'll be really happy. So that's what you can expect from the team next year. Um, it's hard to look too much past that, mate, because like I said, we don't know the shape of the game past next year. We believe we're going to get a little bit of information so i'm probably gonna to have to just back out on that one a little bit uh my focus is very much on this pre-season still got a couple more players to retain we've got a couple of offers out on external players now and, and the, the shift will move to bringing in a couple of external players well exciting times and as i say this is mike eccles no longer interim head coach i've been waiting months to say this uh he's <laughs> he's now the director of rugby and performance at the london broncos and long may that last we wish you all the very best congratulations again and uh yeah it's it's, it's exciting news exciting time for the club and uh, i'm sure that you're going to make a, a great success of it uh, given what I, I've, I've known of you over the last few months so congratulations nice one mate thanks tom